Here we go. How to operate a Freightliner bunk heater. Now look right now, you see it says heat mode. It's on 73, but it's set at 70. That's not good right there because when you set it, you need the temperature to be lower than what you set it at. Like if it's set at 70, you need the truck, to, on the inside of the truck gotta be below 70. Because if you set it at 70 and it's already 73, then it's gonna make the, it's gonna make this thing, mal, it's gonna malfunction. It's gonna be like temperature or something, some kind of warning is gonna pop up. So my truck is at 73 right now because it's still running. But let's say you was inside the truck stop and you cut your truck off while you went inside the truck stop. When you came back to the truck, it's like 60 degrees. And set, then seven is set being at, set at 70 is pretty good because 70 you don't take you don't need to take this thing no higher than 70. If you go up, start going up in temperature, you're gonna burn up. You're gonna wake up hot. You're gonna be cracking the vent, opening the window, or something. You're gonna be hot. So 70 is really like the com a comfortable temperature. And sometimes I actually set mine on 68. So here we go. How do you operate this thing? Here's the dial. This controls the temperature. Oh man, let's, let's move, yeah. Every, when I cut it on, it messed up the numbers. So here's the temperature set, this dial. You turn this to set it. So let's say, let's say we're gonna set it at 72. The bottom button locks that number in. The top button, you see the red lights are on? The top button cuts it on and off. On, off. This is the, this is the dial for the temperature. You can set it wherever you want. You set it on 62, you gotta hit enter. Now I set it 62. On, off. Let's put it back at 70 where I keep mine's at. And we're gonna lock it in. Now check this out. If you want a more advanced settings, this enter button, if you hit if you hit it while the, the heater is off, it'll take you to a menu. If you hit, if you click on back, it'll take you back here. But let's go back to the menu. Let's go to the menu. You see at the top, it says mode. Let's take it up to mode. If you click on mode, hit enter, it's gonna take you to heat and vent. If we put it on vent, that's for like summertime, not summertime, but like maybe like fall or spring when it's not hot enough for your truck to idle and your truck will cut off. I don't, my truck will idle, but some of you guys that trucks won't idle, that's what that is for. So let's click on vent. We're gonna hit okay on vent. Okay, now we're gonna hit okay on back so we can go back to the original menu. Now watch this, on off. When you hit on, it's gonna light up blue. That's for like a fan. This doesn't control the temperature, it just controls the fan speed. So you got low, medium, high. Now let me tell y'all, if this does, this thing will keep you cool. If you crack both of the vents in the back of your truck and cut this on, you will be pretty cool at night. So okay, let's cut that off. Let's, let's take it back, put it back on heat. Go back to mode. Language, okay, mode, okay. Let's put it back on heat. Okay. Okay, back out of there. And now we're back on heat. Now remember, you can set it wherever you wanna set it at. But remember, if you don't, if you, if you set it, if you set it on 70 or whatever, but you, the temperature inside your truck is higher than what you set it at, it's gonna malfunction. So you gotta wait for this temperature to drop below that one. I set it on 71 by accident, we're gonna set it back on 70. That's why I like mine, 70. Okay, on, off. All right, I hope this helps y'all out. I didn't do all that talking on the last video like y'all said I was gonna do, well, that like I did. So this is how to operate a Freightliner bunk heater. Thank you.